But there is one castle that is reputed to be more haunted and breathing with spirits than all others in Scotland. <laughs> Scotland has many castles that some believe still contain living history. Spirits with unfinished stories, entities that have secrets to share, and beings that wish to stay in the homes where they were once happy. Glamis is the most infamous of the many Scottish castles reputed to be haunted. Glamis Castle has a mythical and certainly mystical reputation. The ghosts of Glamis are numerous and legendary. Phantoms have been reported in the castle for centuries. Many of these hauntings are focused on the bedroom known as the Blue Room. One account, recorded in the 1870s, described the event. A guest at the castle, the wife of the Archbishop of York, was staying in the Blue Room. She awoke feeling that something had brushed her face, but she couldn't see anyone in the room. A figure loomed over her with a long flowing beard and the face of a dead man. In 1454, Patrick, the first Lord Glamis, was said to have played host to an evil visitor at the castle. He was known for his love of gambling and often played cards with Earl Beardy of Crawford, so called because of his long, thick beard. <laughs> the pair were playing together late one Saturday night when a servant entered and reminded them of the hour. It was nearly the Sabbath and gambling was forbidden on the Lord's Day. We no bother me, man. Can you not see him in the middle of a game? But the men ignored him and played on. But five minutes to midnight, the servant again entered and pointed out the time. My lords, please, I beg you. If we have a mind to, we shall play until doomsday. Earl Beardy roared. He would regret his words. On the stroke of midnight, the door opened. A mysterious stranger entered. The stranger sat down and placed a stake of sparkling rubies on the table. The three men started to play. Lord Glamis and Earl Beardy soon got into a heated argument. The stranger watched. The sounds from the room became loud and furious. And the servant longed to enter and see what was happening. But as he approached the door, he reeled back in terror. The two gambling men were enveloped in flames. That night, the castle had entertained the one known to people of that time as the Prince of Darkness. The two men were condemned by the Dark Spirit to play until Doomsday at the price for gambling on the Sabbath. Do specters from another world coexist with us in this one, never intending to be seen by us at all? If we listen very carefully, might we hear voices or music drifting toward us from another time and place? In the ancient and magical land that is Scotland, some still believe they can. <laughs>